Hello, everybody. This is going to be my predictions for every NFL game week 16. Welcome back to the channel. I saw a lot of you guys saw the first video. Make sure to leave on like than this one and that one. Now, I did miss the Jaguars-Jets game. I'm sorry about that. But I think we're just going to go through here, like down here, all the way around. Starting off with Texans versus Bills. Now, this I do not think is going to be a close game. We have the Texans, who are one of the worst teams in the league, and then the Titans, who they do have a pretty good squad. Um, I'm pretty sure they're going to be playing Tannehill. Um, the main reason I think the Texans – or the Titans, <laughs> my bad, are definitely going to win this game is because of Derrick Henry. He is definitely the best running back in the league. Like, you could make an argument for somebody like Nick Chubb or maybe even Saquon, but – Derrick Henry is definitely the most powerful, overpowered running back in the league. He is definitely going to win this game. For them, the Texans have been strugg struggled to stop the run all year. Their defense is not getting good, and the Titans are going to run away with this one. Next up, we have the Bengals and the Patriots. I am choosing the Bengals. Now, I know it looks a little bit like I'm just choosing the overdog every single time, but I do believe that the Bengals are going to win this game. Um, they have a much better just team in general, and I think their offense will just carve the Patriots up. Um, they're going to have a lot of guys back from injury. I think Jamar Chase is going to be playing for the second week back off his um, ankle sprain, I'm pretty sure. And um, they're going to have Mixon back. I think he was out for a little bit with a concussion. But with all those weapons, Joe Burrow, is going to carve this defense up. They're going to have the ability to run the ball. And I think they're going to be good enough on defense to stop the Patriots who don't have the best offense in the league. Next up, the Raiders versus the Steelers. This is going to be a very, very good game. One that I am really excited to watch. I have the Steelers coming out on top of this one. Now, this one, I think it's going to be the closest one. But I think it's mostly going to come down to whether – or not, the Steelers can stop Devontae Adams. He is the biggest playmaker on the Raiders. I know they have Josh Jacobs if they decide to run the ball against a Steelers defense who tends to struggle with that a little bit, um, although they have a really good D-line. Um, I think that if Casey Hayward, who they'll probably put on him, can lock him up, they'll have Minka Fitzpatrick helping over the top. If they can stop Devontae Adams, I think – um, TJ Watt and Cameron Hayward have a good time getting the quarterback. Um, and they should be able to stop Josh Jacobs enough. And on offense, the Steelers, they have a good young offense. I think Kenny Pickett is back this week. So we'll see how he does. He That could be a little bit sketchy for the Steelers. But overall, I think their defense is going to win this game. And that's why I have them winning by three. Next up is the... Colts versus the Chargers, Monday Night Football. This is going to be a very good game. Um, the, the Colts are definitely hungry for a win. I think we saw what happened with them last week. They went up 33 to nothing against the Vikings at halftime and could not come away with a win. Um, but the Chargers are going to win this game. And the main reason I'm saying that is the Colts have lost their main offensive playmaker out for the season, Jonathan Taylor. He won't be in this game. He won't be playing for the Colts for the rest of the season. And that's really going to affect them. He was the main reason that the Colts did get up to such a big lead, as well as the defense. But I think that Justin Herbert will do a better job than Kirk Cousins did in the first half. Of course, Kirk Cousins lit it up in the second. Um, But I don't think Jeff Saturday and the Colts with Matt Ryan and their QB will um do enough to beat this high-power Chargers offense. Next up, the game with my favorite team, the Chicago Bears. But I'm sorry to all the other Bears fans out there. We are not going to win this game. The Bills have one of the best quarterbacks in the league, Josh Allen, one of the best wide receivers. And at this point, I'm pretty sure the Bears are just tanking for the second pick. Hopefully we can get somebody like Will Anderson for our team. Justin Fields has been very good this year, and we'd love to see the development keep happening but I don't see any other wins for us in the next few weeks of the season. 
Next up, Seahawks versus the Chiefs. This is definitely going to be a very high-scoring game. Two pretty good defenses, but the thing about these teams is that their offenses are crazy, which is not something that a lot of people thought we would be saying about the Seahawks at the beginning of the season after they traded away Russell Wilson to the Broncos for a couple guys and a lot of picks. I think they're up there for the third overall pick in this draft. But Geno Smith, wow, has he been crazy. Um, I've been talking about the Seahawks, like I think they're going to win, but no, I do believe that the Chiefs are going to win this game. And that is because the Seahawks offense, although they started the season super red hot, I think they were like six and two, six and one, they've cooled down a little bit. Um, they definitely have cooled down. Um, Gino's been cooling off a little, he's still been good. He's a guy who can get you two touchdown passes, like every single game. Um, but Kenneth Walker, who had a couple breakout games being a season, he's questionable for this game with uh ankle injury. I think it's ankle slash back. But Pete Carroll said he's probably gonna play this game. We don't know if he's gonna be a hundred percent. I'm taking the easy way out on this one. Best offense in the league, best quarterback in the league. With Jalen Hurts out, we'll talk about that later. I think Patrick Mahomes is the front runner for MVP, having an insane. I'm not gonna say bounce back season because he was still good last year. He just wasn't playing like Patrick Mahomes, but he's definitely back this year. Next game, Falcons, Ravens. I think this is going to be my biggest underdog pick of the video. I'm going with the Falcons. Um, I think their de- defense is good enough to stop the Ravens. And you might be thinking, the Ravens are one of the best offenses in the league. They are not, not without Lamar Jackson. Um, If you didn't see last week, they played the Browns. They scored three points without um, without Lamar. Justin Tucker missed, like, two field goals, and he hadn't missed one in, like, such a long time. He's the GOAT kicker. Um, but I think the Falcons could pull this away. They have Desmond Ritter. I think he's really good. I'm a, I'm a fan of Cincinnati, not, like, a big fan. I'm a Penn State fan in college football. But I think Cincinnati's a good school. Sauce went there. Sauce Gardner. Um, I think Desmond Ritter is going to be good. I think he's going to be able to lead them. Uh, I like Cordell Patterson, played for the Bears. Yeah, I think the Falcons are going to pull this one away. Maybe a close game. I could see it being like a touchdown or maybe like 10 points. The Saints versus the Browns. So these are two very similar teams. They have good defenses, um, not the best quarterbacks, but still good players. But they both have crazy running backs. Um I do have the Browns coming on top of this game. They're coming off a win. Deshaun Watson, he's been back for the past two games. Obviously, he did some very, very bad things, but he has not been good in his two games back. Um, He showed improvement last week from what he did his first week back and I think, week 12. Or not week 12, week 13. But we'll see how he does this week. I think Nick Chubb will have a good enough game for them to score lots of points. They had a very good game against the Ravens last week, which I talked about last time, and their defense held them to only three points. And with the Saints, the similar team with not the best quarterback, I could see the Browns' defense to holding them under 10 points in this game, which sounds like not a lot, but I could definitely see that happening. I think the Browns are going to run away with this one. Next up, the Green Bay Packers versus the Miami Dolphins. This is going to be a decent game. I think the Dolphins are going to run away with it. Um, You're going to have Jerry Alexander on Hill. We'll see how he does there. But nobody's going to be able to go hard waddle on that team. I don't think Rasul Douglas is good enough to do that. Um, The Miami offense is going to have a crazy, crazy good game. And I think Jalen Waddle is going to go off. And I don't think Aaron Rodgers can do enough to stop this really good Miami Dolphins defense. Um. If the Packers do lose this game, they're out of the playoffs, and I don't think Aaron Rodgers deserves a playoff berth this year with how he's played. Now, I am a Bears fan. hate Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> Sorry, Packers fans, but I'm actually not. Next up, we have the Broncos versus the Rams. Talk about battle of the bus. Both these teams, the defending Super Bowl champions, Got one of the best quarterbacks in the league this year to rebuild their team. And guess what? 
both of them are like three and 12. They've had horrible seasons all around. Just terrible, terrible, huge busts of seasons. Um, Matthew Stafford's out. They're starting Baker Mayfield. It's just been a crazy season for the Rams. Russell Wilson is back from his injury this week, but still, I'm going to have to give it. I'm, I I like Baker Mayfield. I've always been a huge fan of his commercials. (laughs) I'm serious. I love those with the Panthers not the Panthers, with the Browns. He would do the progressive field commercials. And I'm always a big Baker fan. Seeing his bounce back game versus the Raiders, that was great to see for him. I think he's a really good player. And I think he's going to have a good game today. Russell Wilson is back, but I don't think he can do much. But that dominant Rams defense, definitely the best part of their team with Jalen Ramsey. Aaron Donald, he needs to have a few sacks in order for this game to be close. I've taken the Rams. I do think it's going to be a close game, though. Two, not two, like three, three point deficit. I think that's what I'm going with. Rams by three. Next up, the Giants versus the Vikings. And I've got to take my boy, Kurt Cousins. He played so good last week. He's on my fantasy football team, carried me past the first round of the playoffs. I love Kirk Cousins. I love Justin Jefferson. There is a little bit of injury concern with Justin Jefferson. He went to the medical tent last week against the Colts, but he came back and he carved him up. I think he had like 12 receptions, 150 yards in a touchdown last week. Great game, but pretty average for Justin Jefferson. (laughs) Just kidding. That's a great game for him as well. I think the um, Vikings defense will be able to stop Berkeley enough, maybe keep him under 100 yards. And I don't think that Daniel Jones will do enough to keep up with the dominant offense that the Vikings are going to bring to the table. Next up, the Lions versus the Panthers. This is going to be a good game, both really hot teams. But the Lions, how cool will it be to see them get in the playoffs? I am a Bears fan. don't love the Lions, but... They're going to win this game. They've been so hot. I think they've won like four out of their last five. They've come all the way back from last in the division. Now it's the Bears. So almost a wild card team. Um, the Vikings, I think they've already clinched the division. But I want to see the Vikings or the Lions in the playoffs. And I think they got not an easy matchup, but not that hard of a matchup with the Panthers. And I think they can take advantage of it. Commanders versus the 49ers. The 49ers are one of the best teams in the league. And even with Brock Purdy, I think, I think Brock Purdy's 2-0. Two, two he was Mr. Irrelevant in the draft, which if you don't know, is the, I think, the 256th player drafted. The last pick of the draft, the last pick of the seventh round. He was Mr. Relevant. He's playing this year in his rookie year, and he hasn't lost. There's a lot of clips on the internet, his parents crying blah, blah, blah. He's been amazing for them. And I think he'll continue to keep that up against an iffy commander's defense. And I think 49ers win this game big. Next up, this is the game I am most excited to talk about. Big division rivalry. This could decide who gets the one seed in the playoffs, even. I think the Cowboys are 12 and 3, the e- or 11 and 3, and the Eagles are 12 and 1. Two crazy games, but I am picking the Cowboys. I think the Eagles are going to take their second loss in this one. Um, and that is mostly because Jalen Hurts is not in. He is hurt. I think he dislocated his shoulder during the Bears game, but he will not be playing against the Cowboys. We um saw the last time they played each other. Cooper Rush was in for the Cowboys, and the Eagles ended up taking that game. I think now we're going to see that swap. Jalen Hurts is out. Dak is back in. I think the Cowboys are going to take this one. It's obviously going to be a close game, but I think the Cowboys win it. Don't think Gardner Minshew, who is backing up uh, Jalen Hurts, will be able to get the job done against this very powerful Dallas Cowboys team with a lot of momentum coming off a couple-game win streak. Our last team, our last, my bad, our last game of the video, Buccaneers versus the Cardinals. This is a really interesting game. The Cardinals, obviously, without Kyler Murray, 
um, towards ACL out for the season. But the Patriots with a very old Tom Brady going through a divorce, going through a lot right now. And they haven't been winning many games. They've been crushed. I think the morale of that team is down. But we've seen them beat good teams over the season. And I think Tom Brady, who is the GOAT, um, it's not Aaron Rodgers. It's not Brett Favre, any of those guys. It is Tom Brady. He is the GOAT, not Joe Montana. It is Tom Brady. And the GOAT will carry this game out. It, the Buccaneers just have a better team in general. I do think that James Conner will have a good game, but I think that Levante David, Vita Vea, those guys will be able to stop him, and that the Buccaneers will win this one. Big. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. These are my picks for this week's games. Tell me what you disagree with in the comments, maybe what you would change about this list. But thank you so much for watching this. Please leave a like on this video and my other one. Subscribe to the channel. Hope you enjoyed this. This is Benchborn Ben. I'm out.